Good morning. We'll be discussing the health care budget, and I'll start with the Department of Community Health, Departmental Administration 17.1.10, and this is to evaluate reimbursement parity between all the children's hospital, and this was an agree. The Georgia Board of Dentistry 17.2.5 provide funds for the annual operating expense for investigative software. That's $25,604. These are annual operating funds, uh, and it was added in the 24 budget. Healthcare access and improvement, 17.4.3. Maintain funds for grants up to $1 million for hospitals with graduate medical education programs and to fund medical education training. This is for rural programs, and it's $2 million. The House restored $2 million of the $4 million cut by the governor. 17.4.6, provide funds for three federally qualified health centers startup grants for primary care in Union County, behavioral health expansion in Cobb, and a dental service expansion for multiple counties, $750,000. 17.4.3, provide funds for continuous glucose monitoring in related to uh, Senate Bill 35 and the 24 session. That's $2,806 and it's half of the total cost. 17.4.8, recognize existing funds, $409,000, and provide additional funds to sustain existing area health education centers for AHEC. That's $292,000. 17.4.9, increase funds for emergency equipment, $250,000, and that is for a backup generator for St. Mary's in Camden County. 17.4.10, increase funds for rural hospital st stabilization grants, that's $2 million, bringing the total amount in the base to $4 million. Moving on to Medicaid for Age, Blind, and Disabled, 17.7.1, 17.7.4, and 17.7.6. These changes are due to the updated projections from the FMAP. 17.7.3, increase funds for the Georgia Pediatric Programs, GAP, creates parity with other waiver increases, and that's $8,616 in house funding. To continue in Medicaid ABD, 17.7.15, increase funds to increase reimbursement rates for speech, language, pathology, audiology, physical therapy, and occupational therapy, $3,125,373. 17.7.16, provide funds to increase the dispensing fee to $11.50 for independent low-volume pharmacies that fill under 65,000 prescriptions for, per year. That's $220,084. 17.7.17, increase funds to provide for reimbursement for acute kidney injury in the outpatient end-stage renal disease uh, in, in the dialysis center, that's $75,485. It allows for kidney treatment to be done on an outpatient basis. 17.7.18, provide funds for adult coverage for dental service, $3,807,079, fully funded. 17.7.19, provide funds for emergency medical services, transport reimbursement to begin at zero miles. That's $1,587,919. Currently, the reimbursement begins at 10 miles. 17.7.20, provide funds to increase select primary care and OBGYN codes. That's $2,200,000. $90,335 for these codes to increase at 10%. Provide rate increases for select optim optometric codes, $64,947, and that is a 10% increase. Uh, Medicaid, low-income Medicaid, and these are 17.8.1, um, 17.8.6, 17.8.7, 17.8.8, 17.8.10, 17.8.11, 17.8.12, and 17.8.14 all tie back to the increase in ABD. 17.8.9. 
is to evaluate, when appropriate, and implement a process for allowing blood and biometric testing uh, for pregnant women. And it starts at the 23rd to 34 weeks. It's $283,995, and this is for early detection of preeclampsia. 17.8.13, provide funds for reimbursement for occupational therapy, assistance of physical therapy assistance, providing services for Medicaid members receiving child intervention services and child intervention school services. That's $1,241,270. Moving on to Peach Care, 17.9.1, increase funds for growth in Medicaid based on projected utilization. That's $22,847,923. It's increased on an updated projections. 17.9.3, reduce funds to reflect an adjustment in the enhanced federal assistance percentage from 76.12 to 76.23. And that is a uh, reduction in $314,197. Uh, 17.9.4, provide funds for reimbursement for occupational therapy, assistance, physical therapy, providing services to Medicaid. And again, this is in the PEACH care, tying up to the others. And that's 93500 This is the other part of the increase. Georgia Board of Healthcare Workforce, 17.12.1, provide funds for 105 new residency slots in primary care, $2,010,343. These slots are for multiple programs across the state. 17.12.3, provide funds for a rural public uh, health preventive medication rotation, $56,757. This program will be operated through Emory. 17.12.4, provide one-time startup funds for the development of a pediatric rural training track. That's $50,000, and that'll be handled by the Medical College of Georgia. 17.12.5, provide funds for two for year two of the Maternal Fetal Medicine Fellowship. It's $150,000, and this is part of um, a program that's already existing. 17.12.6, provide one-time startup funds for OBGYN service expansion, $750,000. This is a new OB rural training track residency program. 17.12.7, provide one-time startup funds for two internal medicine residency, $550,000. 17.13.2, provide one-time funds for the expansion of the Valdosta campus, $150,000. This campus is in connection with Mercer School of Medicine. 17.13.3, provide funds to increase the class size of Mercer's accelerated track. That's $1,232,990. It allows it to double the size of the class. 17.14.1, provide funds for infant mortality research, $500,000. And this is in connection with the maternal health equity at Morehouse School of Medicine. 17.15.1, uh, increase funds for additional loan repayment for dentists in rural areas, $900,000. Moving on to the Georgia Composite Medical Board, 17.17.7, .17 provide funds for a system analyst, $900,320. This is an in-house IT position. 17.17.8, .17 provide funds for a criminal investigator, 131,234. The position will aid in reducing the current caseload. Moving on to the Department of Public Health, Adolescent and Adult Promotion, 38.1.3, provide funds to expand the treatment of sickle cell, $908,522. This will aid in the services for sickle cell patients that were displaced by AMC. Uh, 38.1.4, increase funds for outreach for breast cancer screening services, 796,000 that will serve 2,500 women for breast cancer screening. Moving on to epidemiology, 38.5.6, provide funds for the Georgia Poison Center, 
Infant and Child Essential Health Treatment Services, 38.7.3, utilizing existing funds of the amount $685,903 and increase funds to expand the pilot to provide home visitings in at-risk and underserved rural communities during pregnancy and early childhood to improve birth outcomes, reduce preterm deliveries, and decrease uh, infant and maternal mortality. That's $1,752,000. The House increase allows for expansion of the program to 10 uh, additional counties and seven positions. Uh, moving on to 38.7.5, provide funds to increase reimbursement rates for speech, language, pathology, audiology, uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy. Um, it's the mothers and it's the babies can't wait. And that is $456,468. This funds half of the request. And our final item is the Georgia Trauma Care Network Commission 38.14.4 provide funds to initiate a multiple year plan to stabilize the trauma network, $2,500,000. That concludes my list. Are there any questions? I see no questions. I will entertain a motion. Do we have a second? All in favor say aye. Aye. It passes. Thank you.